Hello, my name is Kate McMahon. I am here to share with you some tips and tricks on using a particular resource called PEG Number Boards. This is a resource that we have chosen that particularly supports a few important standards, specifically early learning math standards. Um, I'm going to show you what those standards are here. So a couple important standards that your child has focused on during their pre-kindergarten year and will continue to focus on as they move through kindergarten and further learning uh, are these two standards here. So these are Florida Early Learning Standards. The first demonstrates one-to-one -one correspondence when counting objects placed in a row, one through 15 and beyond. And then two, constructs and counts sets of objects, one to 10 and beyond. So let me just explain first what that means. So one-to-one -one correspondence means that when a child is counting objects, they touch or identify one for each number that they're saying. So you point to one cube and you say one. You point to the second cube and you say two. The third cube and you say three. The fourth cube and you say four. A lot of times we'll see kids sort of one, two, three, four, not actually touching one-to-one. -to -one. So it's important to know that a number represents one particular item. The second standard here is constructs and, and counts sets of objects. So constructing a set means when I say, could I have three, the child's actually able to construct or put together three of whatever it is that you've asked them to. Um, and then to be able to count again with that one-to-one -one correspondence, one, two, three. So one of those resources that we have put together here is called the PEG number board. This resource looks like this, PEG number boards. It includes 10 soft foam mats and 60 pegs. When you open it, what you'll see is, oh, I can get this here, you'll see the foam boards and the pegs. Each foam board has in it spaces to put the pegs for however many that number is. So we have two, the number two, the numeral two, and then two spots to put pegs. The pegs look like this. So a child is able to put in two pegs. One, two. Now again, that one-to-one -one correspondence that we want to see is that a child's able to go one, two, instead of just one, two, three, uh, whatever the case may be. We want them to say one, two. That's something important that you can practice with your child. That's the one-to-one -one correspondence. And here they've put together a group of two. So what you can do is work with your child here on say number six. Okay, we've got six. Can you find me six pegs? Now, they can put the pegs in, which is sort of a scaffolded or a prompt. So if they're just putting the pegs in, they'll run out of space and they will have accurately identified six. If they just fill up the pegs, they've put six in. That's the first step. So just say, here we go. Here's the card. Can we get six pegs? So let's put in six pegs. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've put in six pegs now. Again, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six. Working with your child to count all of those all together. Now, what I did here was I ahead of time broke these into two groups because then you can take this to the next level, which we'll start to look at adding and subtracting. So what we can say is how many yellow pegs are there? Count one, two, three, three yellow pegs. How many red pegs are there? One, two, three, three red pegs. So three yellow pegs and three red pegs. How many pegs is that all together? Six, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you could do that with this as well. So you can start very simply by con constructing the sets and then you can move to a little bit more complicated uh, if you're interested. Now, what I would also say is I would give the child the set of pegs and just say, without the cards at all, can you show me two pegs? Can you give me two pegs? And let them give you the two pegs. They can then check their work. Let's see if we got it right. Did we get it right? And the, if they put two, if that's all that they had in their little group and they put it in, you got it right. If they had given you three, there'd be an extra peg, which helps them to self-correct. They had chosen three, but there were only two spots. So they didn't get two, they pulled three. So these can really help the child to self-correct as well. And there's so much that these peg cards can do. I could go on and on. Um, one other thing I will flag is obviously with these pegs, they come in multiple colors. So you can practice all kinds of patterning. So you could do 
uh, yellow, yellow, red. Yellow, yellow, red. That's a pattern. And talk with the child about that pattern. What is this pattern? Yellow, yellow, red. Yellow, yellow, red. That's a pattern. Can you build what comes next? And have them to help them build the patterns. So you can do all kinds of counting with these, all kinds of patterning. These pegboards can help the child to identify the appropriate number, the appropriate amount, self-correct. Again, you have the numeral here. This is the number two. You can trace it with your finger. There's just so much can be done with this. These are a few tips and tricks. We hope it's helpful. We hope that you find this resource valuable.